Okay, so if you're joining in today, I'll be reading from the book of John, starting with the third chapter, since I've already read the first chapter and the second chapter earlier today. And it starts with the story of Nicodemus. There was a man named Nicodemus, a Jewish religious leader who was a Pharisee. After dark one evening, he came to speak with Jesus. Rabbi, he said, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. See, Jesus, the thing is, Jesus answers the intent of man's heart. He knows what you're going to ask, and he knows what you're coming for. And so Jesus is literally answering, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean? exclaimed Nicodemus. How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being burned of water and the Spirit. Humans can only reproduce human life, but the Holy Spirit gives spirit to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. The wind blows. The wind blows wherever it wants. Just as you can hear the wind but can't tell where it comes from, where it is going, so you can explain how people are born of the Spirit. How are these things possible? Nicodemus asks. Huh. You are a respected Jewish leader, a respected Jewish teacher, and yet you don't understand these things. I assure you, we tell you what we know and have seen, and yet you won't believe our testimony. But if you don't believe when I tell you about earthly things, how can you possibly believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ever gone to heaven and re returned, but the Son of Man has come down from heaven. And as Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God sent his Son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him. But anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only Son. One and only Son. There is no other Son. There is no other one than Jesus. And the judgment is based on this fact. God's light came into the world, but people loved the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it, for the affair of their sins will be exposed. But those who do what is right come to the light so others can see that they are doing what God wants. Then Jesus and his disciples left Jerusalem and went into the Judean cut side. Jesus spent some of the time there baptizing people. At this time, John the Baptist was baptizing at Anon, near Salem, because there was plenty of water there, and people kept coming to him for baptism. This was before John was thrown into prison. A debate broke up between John's disciple and a certain Jew, a certain Jew of a ceremonial cleansing. So John's disciples came to him and said, Rabbi, the man you met on the other side of the Jordan River, the one you identified as the Messiah, is also baptizing people, and everybody is going to him instead of coming to us. John replied, No one can receive anything unless God gives it to them from heaven. You yourselves know how plainly I told you, I am not the Messiah, I am only here to prepare the way for him. It is the bridegroom who marries the bride, and the bridegroom's friend is simply glad to stand with him and hear his vows. Therefore, I am filled with joy at his success. He must become greater and greater, and I must become less and less. He has come from above and is greater than anyone else. We are of the earth, and we speak of earthly things, but he has come from heaven and is greater than anyone else. He testifies about what he has seen and heard. But how few believe what he tells them. Anyone who accepts his testimony can affirm that God is true, for he sent for he is sent by God. He speaks God's word, 
For God gives him the spirit without limit. The father loves his son and has put everything in his hands. And anyone who believes in God's son has eternal life. Anyone who doesn't but obey, anyone who doesn't obey the son will never experience eternal life but remain under God's angry judgment. The gift of life is free. But God's calling us not only to live this life here on earth but to have eternal life with him. He provides the way through his one and only son, Jesus Christ. And it's a gift. It almost reminds me of this one song, my graduation song. In elementary.